Hi everybody, today we're reviewing the Stirline tie and belt rack. This is the automatic revolving one, holds up to 72 ties. This is the model TR72, it comes in a nice retail box. Uh, the box has lots of details on it, it's definitely something you'd see in a store. In the box it comes with four batteries, four belt holders, it comes with the, the tie rack holder itself, and the instruction manual. The instruction manual is very detailed, it definitely goes over very thoroughly how to set it up and how to operate the, the device. Um, it has two functions, uh, the on-off switch and then it has left and right and as you rotate it, it has the battery or the, uh, the flashlight on the bottom and let's see what it looks like when you install it. The installation of this to put it onto your coat rack coat rack. It's actually very easy. That slides forward. You would put this under your coat rack, lift it up, slide that back into place. Just like that. To put the batteries, this front piece will slide forward. And then underneath the light, that's where the batteries go. So I'll have it installed and then we'll get to see how the functions work. Here we have the tie rack installed for the Sterline tie rack. Um, what I've done is I've put my hats in here because I have um, a lot of room. I don't recommend putting hats on here unless you have lots of room in your closet. If you don't have lots of room, I don't recommend it. Also with the hats, you'll see I put clips on the top as they tend to bob around and fall off. Uh, it's fairly useful. Again, if you have lots of room in your closet, that's great. If you don't, I would just recommend sticking to the ties and the necklaces. As you can see in the middle, um, these are the little hooks in here. Those are for... Those are for the belts. As you can see, there's not much room in there for the belts, um, so I didn't find that very useful. Um, but you can stick belts on here, but just remember belts are a little heavy and they might tend to... Um, come off the sides if it's uh, receiving a lot of uh, friction or if it's bumping into too many things but overall if, you use it, if you're using this for necklaces or for ties I highly recommend it um, it's great for those lighter products that don't bob around a lot yeah thanks for watching